Hi, my name is Amber, and today we're gonna to talk about prickly pear cactus. And we're gonna show you how we can take the prickly pear tunas, the fruit, all the way from the plant and turn it into juice. And we're gonna show you how to clean those prickly pear tunas. We'll talk about how to freeze them, and we'll also talk about how to bring them to juice. But first, we're gonna start with harvesting. When you're harvesting prickly pear, you're gonna need the right tools. You're gonna to need a good pair of leather gloves, a lengthy pair of tongs, a bucket or paper bags, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're wearing closed-toed shoes, long sleeves, and long pants, and sun protection, maybe sunblock, and make sure you bring some water to stay hydrated. When you're deciding what prickly pear to harvest, you're gonna to wanna to look for pears or tunas that are ripe. They should be a bold fuchsia color, and they should be free from any blemishes or damage from pests. They should be ripe so that it can easily be removed from the cactus. When you're harvesting your pears, you'll want to take your lengthy tongs over the top of the pears, aligning the tongs on either side. Twist gently to the right or to the left, and then pluck the pear from the cactus. The next step is to clean your prickly pear fruit. And do be careful as they often have hair-like spines called glochids that can get stuck in your skin. A good option here is to take your prickly pears from the brown paper bag and fold over the top to give them a really good shake to release those spines. And then you can take your prickly pears and drop them into a colander in a deep sink, rinsing them with tepid or cool water. Make sure to remove any dust, dirt, or debris from the prickly pears. The temperature of the water should match the temperature of the fruit, so the water with microbes is not absorbed into the fruit. Do not use soap in this step. Now that we've cleaned our tuna, we're gonna go into the freezing step. We're gonna take our prickly pears and we're gonna add them to a box, and a box that we can close or cover to pop in the freezer. Or you can use a cookie sheet, and you would wanna cover this before you freeze them. You'll wanna freeze them for at least up to 48 hours so they get a solid freeze. You can store your tunas alternatively in the freezer for up to 12 months for when you're ready to use them. Our final step is juicing the prickly pear. With your large container, insert your colander and line the colander with cheesecloth. With your clean, lengthy tongs, take your frozen prickly pear tunas and insert them into a large mound in the center of the colander. We'll let this sit for 24 hours at room temperature and the juices will naturally expel. The juice collected at this point is considered highly perishable and must be frozen for later use or cooked to make a brine or a syrup, which are ingredients in a variety of different products, like pickles and jelly and even lemonade. Thank you for joining us today. For more information, check out these resources.